Hi, my name's Ray Kelso. Um, this is Barrel Lane Butchery, which I own, and we've been here for six years. It's actually six years this month, so it's our birthday time. I started when I was an apprentice at the age of 14. I had my first butcher shop in Mosman, North Queensland. I was up there for probably 20 years, and after 20 years we decided we'd come to the Big Smoke and we'd come down here. Went into the supermarket business, and when we got out of there we decided, well I decided we want to go back to butchering. There's a lot more fun in butchering, there's a lot more creativity. The window takes three of us, about two and a half hours every morning to set up, get it all right. The product in there, there's a lot of value added product in there which takes a lot of time to make. We have sausages, we have a large range of gourmet sausages. When we run out of lamb, pumpkin and feta sausages, we're in trouble because everyone's asking for them. Nice solid range, we like to switch ours up a fair bit as well, which is important. Um, uh, just give the customers different flavours, different types of sausages to try and say, hey, you know, I like this one, no, I like this one more. What we do here, everyone has a little bit of input into it. Uh, when it comes to an idea, someone will come up with the idea and then we all play with it, we all toss it around, we all say what should go into it and out of that we get something that we test and try until we get it right. I got together a Mexican sausage, so that was um, nice coarse pork mix mixed with a bit of beef. Uh, we did it with corn, we did taco sneezing cheese, um, diced tomatoes, capsicums as well. We've got a couple of different suppliers in land. Uh, we've got some come from Tasmania and we get some more of Nolan's meats which get theirs out of Juni in um, northern in New South Wales. So to me, when I look at this, this is a beautiful piece of lamb. It's nice pink in colour. It's got a nice little salvage of fat, but not too much. Um, people often say, oh, nothing ever tastes like how my mum used to cook it, but their mums used to cook different sorts of meat. What the customers buy and what the butchers take home are two different things. The butchers will always take home a barbecue lamb chop instead of a loin chop. The butchers will all take, always take home a chicken thigh instead of a chicken breast. It's gradually coming back in. People are taking more notice of the, the meal they put out is more about tasting good now, more so than just putting a meal on the table. Being where we are here, situated in Mitchelton, um, we're around an army base where you've got a lot of families and that sort of thing, and there is a loyalty base here. It's a great centre, it's always busy, it's vibrant, there's always people getting around, and I think it's just basically the people who come in. The people who come in here are great. I think everything in the window is, is created um, here on the premises. It can be so rewarding to cook your own meal and, and use your hands and create something for your family as opposed to just going out and buying something. Like that. So, uh, we have here a piece, lovely piece of belly pork um, that uh, I might prep up and cook it up and show you how easy it is. 